Software testing. The part of software development you skip in your personal projects because you don't think it's worth it. Yes, you, I'm talking to you, you know yourself. But here's the thing, just because you skip it in side projects doesn't mean it's optional in the real world. Software testing isn't new, it's been around almost as long as software itself. But even with all the progress in development tools and methodologies, one thing hasn't changed. No software is completely bug free. Not Gmail, not VS Code or your favorite social media app and that's never going to change. Why? Because at the end of the day, software is written by people and people make mistakes. Even the most experienced engineers following the most rigorous testing practices can miss edge cases or face unexpected scenarios. The software itself doesn't live in a vacuum either. It evolves, it interacts with different devices, operating systems, browsers, and much more. Each one of those variations introduces potential new issues and as we update, patch, or expand the code base, new bugs can sneak in even when we fixed old ones. Some bugs even lay dormant for years, hiding in plain sight, waiting for the right set of circumstances to appear. Take the year 2000 problem or the Y2K bug. For decades, developers stored years using two digits, 78 for 1978, 99 for 1999 to save memory. It worked just fine until the year 2000 approached. When computers read 00 as 1900 instead of 2000, it created widespread concern that banking systems, flight schedules, and government records would fail. This bug stayed hidden for years because no one had ever tested dates outside the 1900 to 1999 range. It was a future-proofing failure and it highlights why we test. Testing is how we manage risks. We can't predict everything that'll happen, but we can try to protect against the most likely and most dangerous failures. That said, it's impossible to test every single scenario. So we use different types of tests, each covering parts of the system, and in this video, I'll be going through some of the most popular testing strategies used in software development today. 